Namaste and a very good evening to all of you. Uh, welcome to the Juhele household <laughs> on behalf of all the Juheles. Uh, and everyone, you, everyone uh, help. Thank you so much, first of all, for organizing this already wonderful ambience. Um, oh, sorry, yeah, did sorry. I do something? Yeah. Go. No, no, no. <laughs> um, I've been requested to announce about two people who are very, well, who's, who are family, my dad and my husband. So it's very difficult to um, sieve out things, you know, that I shouldn't say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so introducing the main artist for tonight. Uh, <laughs> Even before I said yeah. <laughs> um, Pandit, uh, sorry, uh, <laughs> Shri Abhishek Bhutta. And um, Matching Colors. Matching Colors. Matching Colors. Shri Abhishek Bhutta and on Tabla Pandit Raj Kumar Misra. I've been told that a lot of you are, are going to be listening to Indian classical music for the first time. Uh, so I'll just say something very short. Um, you're going to be hearing basically an interaction between two wonderful instruments today. Uh, the sarot, which, is, uh, which originally came from another string instrument, the rabab, uh, originating in Afghanistan. Yes? Yeah. And the tabla. These two, you're basically just going to be listening to them having a conversation uh, with each other. Abhishek is going to be playing Rag Paddeep today, which is a late afternoon raga. And uh, in Indian classical music, these ragas are actually meant to evoke emotions in you. So the emotion that is related to this raga is usually of separation and longing. So, you know, when you're listening, this is actually a very meditative art form. It's very meditative. Um, musical genre. So when you're listening, of course, you, you can start with an alap, which is just without any rhythm. It's just about introducing the raga to all of you. And of course, if you're listening for the first time, you may not know the technicalities of the rag or the rules of the rag, but what you will definitely feel are emotions. So go with those emotions. Uh, this instrument is a very, very beautiful, beautiful instrument. Abhishek plays the Mahar Senya Gharana of uh, Sarod. There are different gharanas in Sarod. And in Mayar Senya gharana, uh, this instrument has actually 25 strings. In other gharanas, there are 18 or 21 strings, yeah. right? So there's difference in the instrument itself, but also uh, the style of music. Mayar Senya has a lot more, they focus a lot more on ornamentation or decoration. So that means how they travel from one note to another, or the phrases of the rag that he will play. It's to make it sound aesthetically beautiful for all of you. So that's, it's more about expressing the rag rather than just playing a composition or just playing the notes. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this evening. He's going to be accompanied on Tabla by Pandit Rajkumar Mistra. The Tabla is an incredibly versatile instrument. It's used for everything in our music. It's basically the backbone of all the music that we create and dance. So my father will be keeping rhythm. So he'll be keeping a time cycle on which Abhishek will be improvising. So I hope you enjoy this interaction. And uh, I'm going to hand it over to the artists. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Which I think the speciality is Abhishek Borkar himself. I mean, he's not going to say it, so I just thought I'd say it. Thank you. <laughs> wow. But other than that, it's really generous of you. You're hearing one of the best sort of players in the world currently. So. Wow. Yeah. You <laughs> love me too much. <laughs> <laughs> it's my job. Love me? <laughs> <laughs> it's a job. <laughs> there isn't much left for me to say after that. But thank you to Ashutosh for putting this evening together and thank you all for being here. And always a pleasure to have Baba and Tabla with me. Rajpati. Okay. 
Generation, so you can imagine how long this has been going on. And Sabiri is 11th. I'm the 11th. An amazing <laughs> Kathak performer. So, yes, it's going to be a great musical evening. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
Thank you. 
Hello, Namaste, welcome back everybody. I hope you are and well rested, ready to start the second half. But before we do, I just want to announce a concert that's happening this coming Sunday on the 21st of April. There's two sessions next Sunday, yeah. Next Sunday, 21st of April. There's two sessions of music happening. Uh, there's a morning session. A wonderful, wonderful uh, Hindustani vocalist is coming from India. His name is Nagesh Arzankar. He's incredibly talented. From Pune. Uh, from Pune, yes. And on <laughs> tabla, <laughs> on tabla with him is going to be uh, Dhanraj Prasad Pandey. Wave Ooh. your hands. <laughs> he's, a, he's a senior, senior disciple of Pandit Rajkumar Misraji. And uh, please come. Uh, second half is sitar by Srimati Rina Srivasta on tabla Ustad um, Shabazz Husainji and it's going to be an amazing morning because we don't usually get to see morning concerts in England mm -hmm. so you'll get to hear morning ragas and just gen generally it'll be a different feel. The second session starts at 5.30pm. First half is Hindustani Violin by Yadnesh Riker, again an incredibly talented artist from Mumbai on tabla Himanish Goswami. And second half, I'm going to be performing Kathak. My uh, mom's student, uh, my mother, Srimati Chandrima Mistra, wonderful vocalist. Her uh, student, Rafi Lal, will be on vocal with me. Um, but she will sing also. I will also be singing. I sing and dance at the same time. Please come and watch that. <laughs> it's kind of cool. It doesn't really happen a lot. Can you not play tabla as well at the same time? <laughs> Can you not play tabla as well at the same time? <laughs> give, me, give me a year, we'll... <laughs> um, yeah, that starts at 5.30. And in between, there's going to be some amazing uh, lunch that you can buy and enjoy. And also in the art gallery at the Bhavan, uh, we're going to be screening a wonderful documentary on Kayal music and the different karanas in schools of Kayal and how Hindustani music came about. It's a really, really nice documentary for anyone who hasn't been introduced to any classical music before. So please come. Tickets are online. There's a, a QR code here that you can scan and get the tickets. If you buy both tickets, you will get a discount. So please scan it. Please come. It's going to be a full day of ending classical music and dance. I am curating it with a lot of love and passion. And wonderful, wonderful uh, musicians are coming. All the tabla players are, players are UK based and all the musicians who, who are coming, the main artists, you can say, are all from India. So you will get the best of both worlds. And you are from? I'm from, <laughs> I'm a world citizen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from well, well, India and, London, and, and um, UK and everywhere else. But please come, uh, please, 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 please come and support. The more you support, the better it is and you will get to hear amazing music. So what do you think, Arush? You are coming. You are. Coming. <laughs> uh, I will keep this quiz. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Thank 
mistake. There's no such thing as mistakes. <laughs>
छोटा सा कोई कोई लाइट सब कुछ ठीक है एक लास्ट थैंक यू ये पंचम सवारी बहुत आड़ा काल है पंद्रह मात्रा है 
आपका फेवरेट है इसीलिए मैंने अरे गुरु जी ने बोला मैं 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 नहीं चाहता था कि ये पंचम सा नहीं बजाए हालत खराब हो जाता है मांच का मांच बजा रहा
journey in the life, you know, with the many people there, with the various experience and all. I'll write a book now after 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> the kid, kids will not listen. How did you learn? How did you learn? How did you learn? I mean, see, my father is, a, is my guru and my older brother also plays. He's five years older than me. So Record I was just born with that talent. Okay. Yeah. Born with this sound in my house, 24-7. Students would come. <laughs> I started at around, I started with vocal and tabla at four and then my father gifted me a small toy size cello to see how I respond to it and I liked it but till I was about ten, I started at six formally, till I was ten I thought every child plays the cello. <laughs> I thought that's the norm. Everyone plays cello, obviously. <laughs> then later on you realize it's kind of a responsibility. Taking it ahead, taking it forward. Then the seriousness hits you and all those things. So. Then I started performing regularly around 16, 17. And by the time I hit 21, I thought I was the best. <laughs> completely overconfident about everything that I play. And then again realization hit that no you're not. <laughs> then my has increased, all the things happen. So I think it's a <clears throat> it's just a journey of realizing things as you go along, about where you stand, about how good you are, about how bad you are. But the main thing is to just keep loving the music itself. I think as long as that's there, as long as you love the music, you'll always improve. And that's what a lot of should do, just love the music, I guess. <laughs> that's it. Now, how many hours you practice? No. <laughs> 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 Why are you looking at me? <laughs> you gave me a look. <laughs> no, no, no. You practiced a lot. When I was... Exactly. Again, like, when I was... He still practices a lot. Six hours a day. 
Really? Yeah, yeah, exactly. What does he practice? Well, six hours a day? Sorry. It's like physical and mental practice. Yeah. Yes, that's, yeah. That's, 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 if it's mental practice, it's 24 hours. Yeah. Literally 24 hours. That, that's why I make you to recite. You know? That is the truth. But till I was about 17, 18, there was like continuously, yeah. every day, two hours of practice without a single break, like any day. So that's a discipline that you need. And now what I'm playing is, it's like safe deposit of what I yeah. did back then. But the mental practice is 24-7. You've yeah. got to keep singing, you've got to keep keeping tar in your hand, just doing something or the other. Physical practice can be how much ever you want it to be, but the mental practice should be continuous all the time. So no one can know how much I actually practice. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. Again, 20 years later, biography. You <laughs> can't share it now. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Any more questions? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever uh, thought of any other instrument other than the road? No, I mean, as I said, because at, at that age, at six or seven, when you fall in love with this, you, know, so you don't feel like playing anything else. And I do play the guitar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do teach the guitar as well, but this is my full time. You play guitar, guitar with... with, with and, and she also plays solo really well. Yeah. <laughs> no, you sing better than I play the solo. <laughs> That's, That's true. true. That's true. That is true. So we should hear a bit of singing as well? Singing? No. That's only after Why spoil this? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. He's still He's still streaming. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, do two hours. Minimum two hours. No, no, more than two hours. Minimum two hours, yeah. And everything is God's gift. Yeah. don't Thank you, Guruji. Thanks, Allah. Abhishek. <laughs> it was very, very nice. Pleasure to have you. Thank you very much and we'll see of Shikha Jane. And that's for Sabevi. Because my Shikha didn't you. want you and Abhishek to fight. Thank you. Now the shooting gets. <laughs> <laughs>